Hello, I'm Miss A. Soma. Welcome back. Here we are talking about Japanese pronunciation, especially the pitch accent. Here we go. While I was watching my videos, I felt that I needed to talk about how much we should study the pitch accent. I mean, I don't want to overwhelm you. I have been making many videos about the pitch accent and I have been saying that pitch accent is important but not so important. It sounds contradicting, right? I mean, you might think that. Is it important or not? So here in this video, I will explain. you are a beginner you don't need to care about the pitch accent you have so many things to study hiragana katakana kanji etc 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 so you can skip them i just recommend that you be aware that there are high and low accents in japanese and that they influence the meaning of them for example if you say Nihon no en pizza, that means a Japanese pencil or Japanese pencils. And if you say Nihon no en pizza, that means two pencils. Really? Then the pitch accent is important. Yes, it's important. But don't worry too much. We can understand the differences by the context. Context. Native Japanese speakers are really good at understanding the meaning by the context because we have so many words which have the same sounds but different kanji. For example, imagine two girls here. Ah, shiroi kumo. Eh, doko ni? Even native Japanese speakers sometimes misunderstand each other, so don't worry about the pitch accent too much. Anyway, kumo and kumo. The pitch accent are the same. If you are an intermediate student, I recommend learning the pitch accent of nouns which have the same hiragana to avoid potentially awkward situations. You know, kami, god, kami, hair or paper, and uh, please imagine non-native Japanese speaker and Japanese girl. What shrub? My ban kameni in rumors. Ah, hagena yoni. In this case, people often understand you mean God, even if your pitch accent indicates hair. But maybe, maybe someone is like her. So I recommend watching and learning these videos. Anyway, I have to say, the Japanese pitch accent is changing. And nowadays, the speed at which it is changing is accelerating because of the internet era. I mean, the average Japanese is used for TVs and broadcasting, I mean for announcers and voice actors. However, nowadays we have YouTube and this platform is for everybody. These content creators live in many different areas and therefore may broadcast in various accents and dialects of Japanese. Yeah, I like it. But it's not good for studying pitch accent. As I said in the adjective video, nowadays many native Japanese speakers mm, read flat style adjective in kifuku style. For example, 
Kurai, which means dark, it should be red. Kurai flat. Kurai. Kurai. Kurakatta. Kuraku. Kurakute. Kurakereba. But nowadays in some dictionaries, accept this one. Nowadays, this is accepted. But many youngers believe that kurai is right. And kurai is wrong. The same thing is going on with verbs. Nowadays, many people read flat style verbs as kifuku style. And their conjugations are long. For example, steru. This is a flat verb, which means to abandon, to throw away. And we should read stereru, stereru, can throw away or to be thrown away. Stereru, steru, stereru. But nowadays, even announcers, especially young ones, sometimes read it as stereru, kifuku style. Stereru. They don't read steru. But they read stereru. This is what's happening during this transition period. This is still wrong in dictionaries, but in some day this might be considered correct. However, to students who have many chances to speak Japanese in public or as narrators and people who really want to be voice actors in Japan need to learn Japanese pitch accent. They are still standard Japanese. So these videos might be helpful. This year, about the pitch accent, I will make short and simple videos more frequently. For instance, Nihon, Japan, Nihon, two pieces. Hon is a counter for counting, uh, kind of thing, kind of thing, koyuno, pen, pencil, sticks. Mm. Nihon, Japan. Nihon, two pieces. Haku. Haku, to sweep or to vomit. Watashi no kami. My God. Watashi no kami. My God. Watashi no kami. Watashi no kami. My hair or my paper. Something like that because these types of videos will help students of all levels. If someone really wants to know about the pitch accent of verbs more, more deeper, maybe I can give you a personal lesson. And if I'm ready, I will let you know here. And I really want to make a video about particles here. Sorry about my delay in making a video about ni and de. これな何とか今年は何とかしたいと思っております。And I will make a video. I will make videos about the pitch accent of Japanese counters on Udemy. I mean, 1月、2月、3月、4月、5月、6月、7月、8月、9月。Hello. 4月、フラット、5月、9月、起伏、カウンテン。If I'm ready, I'll let you know here. So, how deep you get into learning Japanese pitch accent depends on the reason why you are learning Japanese. Good luck with your studies. 頑張ってください。どうもありがとうございました。お疲れ様でした。See you!